our way to go see Hereditary and we're kind of running late. So we're doing this in the car. So let's go see Hereditary. I honestly know really nothing about this movie. I've been trying to go in blind because it seems like that kind of movie that might have like a twist or some interesting uh, ideas in it that I don't want spoiled for me. I do know Tony Collette's in it. I do know this has been compared to The Exorcist by some critics. And I've heard good things so far, but I really honestly have no idea what this movie's about. Uh, Danny? Uh, I have no expectations. I don't have a whole lot going on on it either because I like it that way. And hopefully you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Let's see. I'm Danny Nightmare. I'm Gory B Movie. And we're horror addicts. <laughs> we what the fuck just happened? <laughs> we watched Hereditary. That's what happened. We're gonna keep this spoiler free because, you know, this is still in theaters and we always keep these let's see spoiler free. The movie is about Toni Collette's character. She had her mother living with her. Her mother had some mental illness and her mother passed away. In her family, there's her husband. She has a young daughter who appears to have some special needs and a teenage son. There's a lot of pressure in this family that's like just ready to unfold. And you find out that it's not just Toni Collette's mother who had mental illness. Mental illness runs in this family and then she starts to experience some kind of paranormal happenings around the house seeing things that don't make sense hearing things that don't make sense the son also is experiencing some very disturbing things and so we are left to wonder is there something supernatural going on or is this the mental illness in the family taking hold after this tragedy felt like a long movie <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have to agree. I felt like I was there a really long time. Part of it is the pacing. It is incredibly slow paced. Mm -hmm. um, they want to draw out every little moment of suspense. Like there's a few really tense scenes and then I thought about it. I'm like, nothing happened in the scene that was tense or scary. It felt tense because of the way it was filmed and the sound design, which are both incredible. The cinematography is fantastic. The color design, there's a lot of teals and oranges in it that are beautiful, um, even in some of the more horrific scenes. Uh, the sound design, at one point I thought I heard somebody behind me um, making noises and I realized it was the movie, the way they had designed the sound so that it sounded like it was moving around you. It was really immersive and incredible. Some of those sounds you kind of wish you could get out of your head. This movie will drive you crazy like that. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to hear a lot of that. The first act was really hard to get through because of that kind of stuff. And just that it was a very slow drama. There wasn't even really anything horror in that first act. It wasn't like it was interesting, but it was, it was I had to really push through that first act picked up in the second act. And then in the third act it was kind of bonkers. Yeah, this isn't a movie you watch to have fun. This isn't uh, like a Blumhouse type movie. This is a movie that's trying to make you uncomfortable. It's trying to make you feel tense. And I'd say it's very successful at that. Yeah. Um, I, there are parts of it where I feel like you're supposed to really identify with the characters. And as they're wondering if they're going crazy, uh, it almost kind of makes you feel like you're in that experience where you're kind of losing, losing your mind a little bit. Yeah, you got to be careful with this movie. It's it'll make you almost lose your head. To talk about the performances uh, across the board, everybody in this movie did a phenomenal job. I think they did fantastic casting. Everyone from Tony Collette, who's always fantastic, who was in Sixth Sense and Krampus, mm -hmm. Gabriel Byrne, who was in The Usual Suspects and Stigmata, both of them are fantastic actors. Alex Wolf played the son. He was very good. Uh, the little girl is new in this film, but I, I thought. You know, everyone was really incredible. You really believe the performances. The only time I felt with uh, Alex Wolf, there's one part where he's crying, and that didn't seem completely genuine, but other scenes where he really did amaze me, so. Now, would you say this film is scary? I really, really wanted this movie to be scary, and, and I feel like it really tried, but this movie didn't scare me. It did, however, shock me. Yeah. It creeped me out, too, sometimes. I felt it was generally creepy. Uh, 
She makes all these weird miniature sets. In fact, she even has a miniature set where it shows that she makes miniature sets. Like there's a miniature set inside of a miniature set and it gets really weird. Reminded me of some like Twilight Zone stuff, uh, stuff like that. And um, it's moments like that that make you wonder, is she completely losing her shit? Mm -hmm. I wasn't uh, scared by anything. There was a very intense accident in the film that made me go, damn. <laughs> yeah, there was one place where I was so shocked. I like covered my mouth. Um, there's a couple places that are really shocking, and I do think, um, you know, I watch a lot of horror movies, but for someone who maybe doesn't, who doesn't mind a slow burn, there's some scenes in here that are very unsettling, some very uh, creepy images. Um, certainly anybody who's afraid of ghosts or, you know, um, who has a fear of, you know, losing control or um, going insane, I think there's a lot here that could really scare you. It's very immersive though. I think to get the full experience, I'm actually gonna say I don't recommend you seeing it in the theater. This movie is incredibly quiet. It really works with silence and sound. And so if you see it in a loud, noisy theater with people eating popcorn, people talking, it's gonna really distract from that experience. I think the best way to watch this movie is gonna be at home, in a quiet room, in the dark. Also, it's the kind of movie where because there are some very unsettling moments, people will uncomfortably laugh and stuff. And for other people, that's just going to take them right out of the film. So I'm going to say, wait until you can watch it at home. It's a Netflix and chill type film. <laughs> not so much a theater, like we said. We had some people just a little loud. But not because of the quality of the movie. I'm going to say watch it at home because you, you don't want to have any distractions. Yeah, you want to be able to really get into it. I also wouldn't recommend this to anybody who cannot handle a slow burn or who is put off by a lot of melodrama because there is a lot of melodrama in this. They really lay it down hard. If either of those things is off-putting, this is not going to be the movie for you. Yeah, I'd almost say it's a drama first, a horror movie second, but... I do uh, remember seeing a couple like trailers where they said like compared it to The Exorcist, and I think that was way off. I mean, Exorcist is one of the scariest movies of all time, and I don't think this quite measures up. Um, when it was all said and done, I got why a few people wanted to make that claim in a sense, but it's a claim I've heard many times and I've never agreed. It's very ambiguous, like, hey, what Jaws did for the water type claim. Yeah. The Exorcist, you know, I don't know if there's ever going to be another Exorcist. So. I just, I feel like The Exorcist, yes, it has a slow start, but pretty early on in that movie, the shit hits the fan and it's a very in-your-face film. This isn't that movie. This is more like Rosemary's Baby, where you spend a lot of time questioning what the fuck is going on? Is there anything even really horror movie-like going on? Or, you know, is this all mm -hmm. in somebody's head? It's more about that journey than it is for any kind of horrific payoff. Yeah, to say the payoff is bizarre though. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but... It felt like a lot of buildup, and then I just felt like it went wham! Loading a musket, it takes forever, but then there's this loud bang at the end. Yeah, it, it felt like when the ending came, it, it came on really, really hard. But it did jar me, which I guess is the intention, so right now I'm gonna say it was good. I think I liked it, but it was a very intriguing, interesting taste. I need to let it, let it settle, you know? Yeah. I don't know if I want to eat that again. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a what the fuck movie. It's not a movie that's gonna make you feel good afterwards. Uh, but I do think it's one that you need to see, and so. We might talk about this in future videos. I think we're gonna have to come back to this one. I would like to discuss some of the themes in this and the ending. Um, maybe later on. It's interesting enough to talk about it. I definitely have my own ideas about what was going on, so. And that would be one of the biggest reasons I do recommend this movie, because for me, I really enjoy a film that has some layers to it that I can really dig into, that I can look at from different angles and see things maybe I missed the first time. I enjoy movies that I can talk about. I enjoy movies that I feel have some kind of, you know, metaphor or a theme that, you know, I can explore. And this is one of those movies. It really makes you think afterwards. Yes. So. Okay. Hopefully all that made sense. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. That movie kind of did a number on me. But we would love to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments below. Keep it spoiler free. If you've seen the movie, what you thought of it. And if you haven't seen it, you know, are you gonna? Mm-hmm. Let's hope it all makes sense.
And of course, if you guys want to see more of these Let's See Movie Review vlogs where we take you with us to the movie theater, be sure to hack that thumbs up button and uh, like and subscribe. Know it. Know it. <laughs> All right. Cut. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>